both gold and silver traded with a slight drop now gold below the support levels at 1830 and silver below 2170 levels rather 2160 now what is going to happen today we will try to see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon first we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end do listen to it carefully this is a 2 hour chart for gold, it is still trading sideways but waiting for a breakout, see it is trading with a downward slope here. You can clearly see lower lows and lower highs, also one must see this is at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands and there is a little resistance here at around now 1835-1836 levels. So be watchful of 1836, if you see it trading above 1836 then you can go long for 1840 levels and beyond that only it is going to be a good long. So if you see it trading above 1836 go long and then 1840 levels is the good resistance level. Beyond 1840 this is good to stay long. Till the time it trades below 1836 I will not recommend you to go long. At the same time 1824 and 1820 levels this you need to be watchful of oscillator they are trading bearish. Directional movement is bearish. MACD is bearish. RSI is a sloping parallel rather than a indicative of bearish there. If you look at the stock stochastic this is oversold here indicating possibly on 2 hour charts that we may see a green candle. Now look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts also see it tried to trade outside the Bollinger Bands and the channel there but again getting a pullback up so the down lower levels are not sustainable right now. So if you look at the 3 hour charts it is sloping downwards and a reversal candle is required what should be considered a reversal yes if you see it trading above 1836 go long there then beyond that 1840. 45 level should come into picture any move beyond 80 45 47 is a good level to go long and then we can expect is a reversal yes you can stay long above 1836 with these candles what it has done it has covered this liquidity gap and now it has come back to the support levels it has covered this liquidity gap now i'll be watchful how it behaves it is right now trading outside the bands also and the channel also we may see a little retracement on the upside be watchful of it the oscillator they are coming into bearish zone Directional movement is bearish, MACD is also on the sell side, RSI is looking downwards, stochastic is oversold on the 3 hour charts. So the see with this movement what we have seen so far it has covered this liquidity gap, it has covered this journey. Now it will look forward to a directional move, any breakout below this zone, any breakout below 1820 which I think it is going to be difficult that it is going to break below 1820 today. But be watchful, it may try to, if it breaks below 1820, that is going to be a certain indication, that is going to be a sure indication that it is going to act little more bearish than we can act. We can see 1815, 1812 and then 1808, 1800 levels. These are the support levels, minor support levels on the uh, near time frame. But at the same time, if you see it trading above 1836, you can look forward to 1840, 1845 and plus plus levels. If you look at the oscillator it is still in the buy side but trying to complete the cycle there on the oscillator it has completed the cycle see the green candles the red candles now I will be looking forward to if it crosses over then it's in bearish territory else it may bounce back again the directional movement is bearish here white divergent the MACD is also crossed over and it is trading with little divergence the RSI looking downwards the stochastic is oversold on the 4 hour charts if you look at the daily chart see on the daily chart it appears that it is certainly looking for a drop there see lower highs also lower lows yes if you see it trading below 1824 go short there below 1824 you can expect 1820 1818 these two levels you have to watch out for and then below that this time it may try to achieve the lower lows at 1800 levels there is a probability that in fact it can achieve below sub 1800 levels so go short at 1824 and you can stay short with the stop loss at 1836 that is what we can see you can go short at 1834 put the stop loss at 18, 1824 put the stop loss at 1836 and stay short beyond that one can expect that it is going to hit 1820 1818 and 1808 1800 in fact this time it can give you a sharp break on the downside taking it below sub 1800 levels so be watchful and be cautious of these levels always trade with the trailing stop loss once let's say 
you have entered a short at 1824 it has achieved 1820 either close some of your positions or put the stop loss at 1824 and if it bounces back again towards 1824 and the order get closed at cost you can re enter again so trade accordingly also 1836 is the stop loss for the shorts out there and yes you can go long at 1836 if you see it trading above 1836 go long then 1840 levels is the next resistance zone and at that point again you have to put the stop loss at 1836 and then you can take the profits in between 1820 and 1840 these 20 dollars we have to be cautious and take your position accordingly now this is all for gold today let's have a look at silver silver below 2160 levels a stronger resistance is now trying to trade bearish it is trying to give you a breakout there is a support there at 2140 i have always maintained 2140 is a very strong support here and once it sustains below 2140 we can expect a sharper breakdown the next target 2120 and 2100 in fact it can try to break below 2100 also oscillator there trading bearish directional movement is bearish macd has crossed over for a sell rsi looking downwards and stock elastic is has still got some room for it to drop further now similarly if you look at the 3 hr charts on the 3 hr charts too this is trying to give you a red candle and probably it may come back to 2140 look uh, trading outside the bands and the channel it is not uh, it is getting the support from the bands and the channel on the downside and that is why it is trying to get the pullback i'll be watchful of 2140 because it is always been a stronger support levels we have I have always maintained that that watch out for twenty one forty and again I am telling for watch out for twenty one forty in between twenty one forty and twenty one sixty do not take any position oscillator they are trading uh, hardly showing anything uh, directional movement is bearish the MACD has just crossed over with this red candle and it is wide divergent and bearish here the RSI two looking downwards the stock is still looking downwards. Similarly, if you look at the four hour charts, on the four hour chart, it's again, again willing to cross back towards twenty one forty levels. Be watchful of that for one or two candles. It may try to trade in between this zone. Right now, silver is trading between twenty one forty twenty two hundred levels. So we have to be cautious there. Uh, yes, above twenty one sixty, you can stay long, but twenty below twenty one forty, you have to go short, and you can expect that there is going to be sharper drop. However. Going short at twenty one forty, you have to wait for next candle and watch out for how it behaves in the next candle. Oscillator there in the buy side still, and if you look at the directional movement is bearish, and if you look at the MACD has crossed over, RSI looking downwards, stock is still looking downwards. Similarly, if you look at the daily charts, on the daily charts, this is trying to give you a breakout. Now it is traded with the. Now look at this. Twenty two hundred, very strong resistance. We have seen it is acting as a wall. Now it is trying to give you a decisive direction. How far it can go? See, twenty one forty is a support. Twenty one thirty is a support, and then twenty one twenty is a support. These two three levels, if taken, then I will expect it to break below twenty one hundred. My next target for silver is going to be twenty seventy levels. So. uh in few sessions we may see it heading till towards 2070 and 2050 be watchful of that you can stay long below 2140 which is a stronger resistance and yes below 2140 i look forward to 2120 2100 and 2070 levels in the coming few sessions we may silver trading till towards that also on the same upside see this is a uh, achieving 2040 Twenty-one forty, it can create a bottom there. And if you see it trading about twenty-one sixty levels, go long at twenty-one sixty, and again you can expect it to rise. See, it is previous candle. You can see how beautifully it has given higher highs, lower lows. So I'll be watchful about twenty-one sixty. It is going to be a good to go long. Then target is twenty-one eighty, twenty-one ninety. Be watchful of this. I will be looking forward to a breakout below twenty one forty. The nearest resistance, first resistance twenty one thirty. Put your stop loss at twenty one forty and keep trailing. Twenty one thirty is the first target, then twenty one twenty, and then below that we can expect a good drop till towards twenty one hundred five and twenty seventy levels. Maybe if not today, then tomorrow it is going to achieve those levels. But always keep trading with the trailing stop loss. We have seen it. giving sideways movement on the upside go long at 2160 expect it to rise the target is 2180 and 2190 these two levels are very strong resistance level watch my weekly analysis why these are resistance levels and yes 2200 is the next resistance so trade accordingly trade profitably always trade with the stop loss 
always trade with the trailing stop loss join my telegram channel join my mentorship batch reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you